use the charge controller, the old uh, 300 watt converter, 12 volt, 12 and a half amp hour battery, holder for a flashlight, LED of course, dual 12 volt sockets internally here, and they're finished with the weather caps on them. You can use one to charge solar panel in or Small black and decker charger, which does a great job of charging up that small battery and it works for AGMs. And then uh, your dual 12 volt port here in the front to make it easy, you don't have to lift up the lid. And uh, USB chargers. Switch the power on. You see, it's got about 12.6 volts right now. And uh, it's too small panels on top are wired in series and it does uh, just keep it topped off you're not gonna charge it up quickly with that but it's really just like a backup battery bank giant version of it drawer poles uh, rubberized paint along the bottom since it was gonna be a gift to my dad I decided to personalize a little bit and I did a cutout with uh, the masking tape as I masked around the bottom Hold up pretty well, taking it in and out of this van. The whole thing is less than 15 pounds and um, works pretty well. Held together mostly with Craig screws. Um, you can prop the lid up into the sun or you can just set the whole box and tilt it up towards the sun. It's late daylight sun, it's dusk basically, so there's not a lot of sun here. Uh, and it's not gonna boost the voltage up much above the 12 volt, 12 and a half volts the battery's at right now. But the finished product looks pretty good and it works. It's very portable, very secure. All the stainless steel hardware makes it look nice. Uh, that's just Velcroed down so you have multiple charging options that come with it. The battery is the workhorse along with the inverter and this is not a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, and a small charge controller, inexpensive. Everything is mounted with Velcro so that it is removable and replaceable relatively easily. Everything except for the battery, which I just held in by putting some screws around it to make sure it doesn't move. And this was just a small kit I bought on Amazon. I think it was less than $20 and it came with all three of these. Um, two pieces of wood here. So this is one solid piece across the bottom and then I put another piece here. And then uh, the nice thing about the inverter location is that it actually has two grounded plugs. So that's handy. Uh, when you plug the inverter in, in here, you can close this back down. You can have yourself an inverter um, putting out to two different uh, power strips or something like that to charge a lot of small devices or you can plug in a couple of small USB powers, power uh, supplies in addition to the existing USB power supplies. So it's really going to power a lot of very common household things. It's great to have in case of emergency. Um, a lot of leftover parts and a lot of handmade woodwork. So similar to a Goal Zero, but I'm sure this is more expensive than a Goal Zero when you add all the pieces. But it's nice single self-contained unit. Always stays topped up. And then once you do need it in an emergency and you run the battery down over a couple hours of use or something light, then uh, you plug it into the wall to recharge it. But the solar cells keep it topped up. You can just keep it in your vehicle and the sun coming in the windows will keep it topped up. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. The backup battery has been in use intermittently for a couple of years now.